Welcome to Cinemen and the Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival. And I'm here with Craig Rice. Craig, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So you're working with the Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival. Um, tell us a little bit about sort of what it is that you're going to be doing with the festival. Um, this year we have, our, I think it's going to be our biggest year. I think it's, it's going to be really, really a tr a tremendous year for the festival. I think there's a lot of changes we're making. We're trying to really incorporate our selection of films and our, and our roster of films and even the panels to our new really kind of strong uh, initiative, which is really international filmmaking and filmmakers and really bring in that aspect to the festival in all kinds of ways. We've tr Over the years, we've tried to still select Minnesota films, but we're trying to incorporate Minnesota films into the larger community of filmmaking around the world. So you're going to see uh, films that are probably, I think, one of the strongest areas that we're going to, we're concentrating on is what's called Cine Global, which is a kind of a new initiative. Um, and we're going to see films from all over the world. We're going to see films from, there are some fil films from Minnesota filmmakers that are dealing with the world. Um, we're going to also see a lot of films that are made by women filmmakers this year. So I think it's going to be really interesting. I'm really anxious to see it unfold and see what the audience response to it is. When you're having that kind of lens on the curating the festival, how does that play into or it's play into sort of I mean I want to say changing demographics of Minnesota but it's not necessarily like super changing but how does that play in sort of telling the story of Minnesota or engaging audiences in Minnesota in a way that maybe other film festivals might not well, catch I I, no, I understand what you're saying. I think that one of the unique aspects of Minnesota is that it is one of the real global centers of the world. I mean, it's the diversity in this city is probably like, uh, probably, and only other city in the country probably is New York. I mean, there's over 78 different languages spoken in the Twin Cities, or in the state, I should say. Um, we have a strong inter integrated population from Somalia and the Hmongs and Tibet or Tibet and the, the uh, Russians are coming you know and so it's starting to integrate and I think that this festival radiates out into the community and obviously the community radiates into the festival is there some kind of conscious thing about like helping you know you have the Minnesota made program is there some conscious choices about like how that international filmmaking lens is is rubbing off in the Minnesota film community I, th I think it is. I think that, um, I think it's kind of, uh, um, I think it's almost subconscious. We live here. I, 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 years ago, I remember having a conversation with the president of Motown came here and saw Native Americans for the first time in his life. He grew up in LA. He asked, who are they? I said, those are Native Americans. He said, you guys have, I said, yeah, we have Mexican. I mean, I think it's, for us, it's natural, but for the rest of the world to understand an urban population that is so diverse, because it's not as big as New York or Manhattan, it's smaller, so you actually integrate yourself into their lives, your, their restaurants, they, they're picking you up, they're going to school with your children. I think that's really unique, and so I think the filmmakers are basically sponges, or good filmmakers are sponges, and they're absorbing what they see around them. Um, they're absorbing the look and the style and the rhythm, and, and we have this, this year, um, we have a filmmaker, a female, a Somalian filmmaker's film in the festival, which is really, was I, um, I was really happy about that because it's a really good film, and it's got a really nice story. It's a love story, but it's appropriate to her culture and appropriate, she's actually accented too, but it's a really good piece. But that's what I'm saying, is like we take some of it for granted, but I think when you really start to see it in the body of the whole festival, we're really unique people. For audiences, is this like, one of the places where this might be the only place that they can see some of these films. Oh yeah, I think for some of the audience, this is the only place you're gonna see this diversity of filmmaking. First, filmmaking styles, documentaries, animation, experimental films, and then see the cultural aspect of it in one kind of concentrated area. You may see a few throughout the year if you're going to Landmark or wherever, but this will be concentrated. Not that it's not gonna be a few little Hollywood films scattered around, which is, a, is appropriate too. Hollywood is part of the United States, but it really is more about about looking at the world and the vision of the world and what's going on in the world.